two digit number and you have another number that is obtained by reversing the digits of the original number. Now their product has been given to you 2430. So when you know the product of two numbers, the first thing that should come to your mind is their factorization. 2430, you want to get two numbers such that they can be reversed and I get the two digit number as two digit itself. So for, because of this zero out here and I'll sum up the digits, I get the sum here is definitely nine. Yeah. So I can say that because the sum is nine here and it's ending with zero, I can say that one of the factor can be 90. So nine times how much is 243? Nine times two is 18 and then nine times seven is 63. Now note one thing, you don't want number to have zero at the end because upon reversing, it just becomes a single digit number. So you want to make sure that this zero is gone. So you must know that or you may already know that 90 appears as a product of two numbers where there is no zero present. You can do that by multiplying five. So five times how much is nine, 90? It's 18. Now why did I do that is you can just quickly do one thing. If I split 27 into three times nine. Now let me figure out if I can get two closest number possible. If I'll take 18 times three, that gives me 54. And if I'll take five times nine, that gives me 45. So I got the two numbers to be 54 and 45 such that they can be obtained by reversing the digits. Question is asking me to find the difference between P and Q because 54 minus 45 is just 9. The answer has to be 9.